What up, what up, what up? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's another edition of the Conceited Nobody. We back up in here. Yo, yo. With, with the mic checking on deck. Uh, shout out to Ellie Octane for that uh, fire ass song. Yeah, shit. Cool. Uh, I'm over here trying to share share the episode. I got my glasses off because we yeah. on camera. Yeah. And I'm over here holding my phone all close to my face and shit like some old weird <clears throat> motherfucker. But, uh, <coughs> yeah, nigga, take it easy, relax. <laughs> relax. This is the smoker. Nah, I don't need the smoke. That's what's happening, though, man. We in here, man, about to have another fantastic episode. You know who I am. It's Latouris, just in case you don't, just in case you're a first time listener, which I doubt. But anyway, I got my homie right here. What up, what up? That, that's that laid back, what up, what up? Trying to share the fucking episode I'm half blind and shit. It's a trade off though. You gotta be cool or you gotta be up to see. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, I'm over here squinting and looking at my phone. But anyway. Like when you was in school, you got glasses the first day you didn't want to wear them. Cause yeah. everybody's gonna talk yeah. about you. Hey, you used to sneak. Yeah. You can't see the board shit you do. Pull the motherfuckers up and shit. Put them. Then put them back down and shit. Where right the kids see and shit. Hell yeah. Speaking of uh, glasses. It's, it's crazy that you said that because it kind of correlates with what was going on this weekend, which that uh, that, that uh, eclipse, that, uh, yeah. that, that lunar eclipse. When everybody became scientists. Everybody turned into fucking experts, yeah, man. This yeah. shit weird as fuck. Everybody became Bill Nye, the science man, guy. Niggas, listen. Did none of that shit work for me? Like I did the little hole in the box shit. I, I just shit. I'm a flat earther. If I don't know what that is, I believe that the earth is flat. flat. I believe. Yeah. I also start believing this in 2015, like the spring of 2015. It was crazy. I stumped up on this uh, video on YouTube. If you ever want to check some shit out, look up Mark Sargent, Flat Earth. He got some good, good shit. He, it let, I'm telling you, man, the shit, we don't, we, don't, we don't use fucking common sense. We, just, <laughs> yeah. we don't use common sense, man. Like the motherfucker tell you on the globe that's spinning 30 miles per hour and shit, <laughs> that you can't fucking feel it. 30 miles per hour, or you can be... Is that what we spinning? Uh, allegedly. Allegedly, I mean... But ain't nobody yeah. fucking moving. And you say some shit like, why I can't feel it? And they say some shit called gravity. What's gravity? It's an invisible force that's holding you down. And they teach you this kind of goofy shit when you a child. So you just automatically believe the shit, you know what I'm saying? You just... And, and you don't challenge it because the people telling you this it's shit... older than you ever yeah. your adults. And, it, and like, they tell it generational. Like, it, it's, it's like... Shared throughout generations, or whatever and stuff. So, B.O.B. made a statement about the Earth being flat on Monday behind the uh, solar eclipse. A lot of people don't even believe that eclipse was real. Yeah, he doesn't believe. Mean, uh, it's a, it's some. If you want to check something out, it's called Project Blue Beam. It's um a hologram project they got where they can manifest images in the sky that look so fucking real. Mm-hmm. But I remember the eclipse, man. We was in high school, and they told us not to look at it. Yeah. I looked at that motherfucker. I don't know why. And I, I ain't been on see how my right eye since. I yeah, did, I know. <laughs> I did some doofus shit, nigga. I don't know why, but this time around, they were so adamant about don't Boy, look, don't, don't look, look yeah. don't look. You could glance, but don't look for more than five seconds at you. Yeah, so I didn't understand it. But like you said, people, uh, and they were selling glasses and shit. I mean, I got dumbass niggas on my fucking Facebook page running, around, that. running around at the fucking 11th hour talking about, I need some glasses. I need, I'm like, niggas, like it's jump, right. niggas jump on every, niggas are wave riders. Just put it on Facebook or any social media site. Yeah, all it takes is one. Person and then shit. That's all it takes, man. Niggas out here look like they going to see fucking Jurassic Park in 3D. 3D. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't mind being goofy and shit as long as white people being goofy with them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All nigga need to do is see a white boy doing some shit. They gonna jump right on. Or if the bitches like it, all oh, the bitches yeah. is doing it. I'm on. Uh, I'm on that shit too. And shout out to my nigga Corey Evans. Fuck you. It's my nigga, but fuck you. He got on Facebook made some kind of goofy ass stat talking about if you uh. If you a flat earther, uh, explain the eclipse. I don't understand, like, the correlation between that shit. Cause yeah, he said, he said that, and he thought he was saying some smart shit. He said that 
it was the earth reflecting off the sun hitting the earth and hitting the moon some bullshit. But anybody got any common sense and basic knowledge of science and not pseudoscience, which round earth is, that's pseudoscience. NASA's a fucking joke. Uh, and if you don't study these things, it's going to sound foreign to you. It's going to sound like a motherfucker crazy. I don't know what they're talking about. But most people don't study. They just regurgitate shit that they done heard. Like, people never independently study things. And that's what people have to understand. That when you uh, call yourself out to discuss and de uh, debate or dispute with me, you got to understand that I was actually study what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, I have a perspective that's unique and not just something that's given to me. And I won't sit here and act like I understand every single thing about the flat earth thing. Because some people ask me shit like, well, and they say shit because somebody else say, and it's going over, over a lot of people here, but they say shit like, well, why can't you see Polaris from the Southern Hemisphere? And that's like stars and shit yeah. that you can see. But I'm like, shit, have you ever been to the Southern Hemisphere? Like, why are you saying that you can give yeah. me somebody else's argument? Uh -huh. But at the same time, I can't cohesively... Uh, Answer it off back, so I go and I research it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't just see Europe from Indiana. Yeah. Or some shit like that. Now, you know what? That's some question that yeah. motherfuckers act legitimately, but they yeah. don't understand perspective. They don't understand uh, small. They don't understand all the elements and shit uh -huh. that come between you and that visibility. But if you go up to uh, Lake Michigan uh, by Chicago, you can see far as fuck. Yeah, you, and can, you see can see all the Canada. And people don't understand there's no curvature on the earth. Like people say, well, you're an airplane, but an airplane has fish eye lens. The glasses are curved. It, it does look flat from like it look, everything looks gridded out. Yeah, if, like, you, if, you top, if you want to talk about a fucking uh, roller coaster, like a Ferris wheel, yeah, I ain't you can get to the top. Me so, neither. Yeah. I have been, but I wasn't looking for flat earth. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but it's just all about perspective, learning, and understanding. But he said that, and it was a lunar eclipse. The moon, yeah, the sun. The moon. So he, it, it, it was, was like no reflection of earth. Yeah. It was the moon and the sun hitting each other at the same time, which. We got another one in seven years, and we're in the path of the totality where it's gonna go black for uh 20 seconds here in indiana for real so in 2024 we'd be part of the uh the line or whatever it would go it's totally black for like 30 40 seconds then and then like i don't and then like he said it was uh the earth getting covered or whatever i mean the earth reflected but it's lunar with the moon or sun so he thought he was saying some deep shit uh, and he had about seven or eight white girls out there cheering and shit yeah get it, yeah, get it. <laughs> and i guess they was against because i was dark <laughs> is he black? Yeah, but he light skin. Light skin. It made a difference at that moment. It made a difference. Yeah, it made a difference at that moment. But they all and he's saying shit like uh, they definitely roll with the fair he, skin. He lost. He lost me in the conversation when he said he went to school. When you start justifying your answers by I went to school or I'm educated and shit, I no longer respect the conversation because we all know that any form of public school education, even private, in most cases, is indoctrination. The whole thing is to keep you on a path that they set for you to keep the status quo, to keep you doing exactly what they want to do. That's how come when people tell me, oh, I got a college degree, I'm educated, it means nothing to me because all you did was answer the question how they told you to answer them. You know what I'm saying? There's no critical person thinking. The person telling me all college means is you're trainable. That's all, that's all it means. So I told that's me that. Me. So I wasted all this fucking money. And the, the thing college. is, we, we taught as children and shit that it's, it's some admirable shit. Admirable. I can't even fucking say more. It's admirable shit to where you laud it if you go to college. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, yeah. you present as you better. Black people still say shit like, I'm the first person in my family to graduate college. But you still get more respect come out of jail than you do uh, get a college degree. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Look at look at No Boy's Party. And look at Ricky. Look at, look at, Ricky's going off the USC. Yeah. And they ain't give him no respect. But No Boy came home from jail. Everybody was there. You don't survive college. You survive jail. You know what I'm you Shit, that's where you get most of your habits in college. Most of your habits. Yeah, most of your drug habits. Yeah, I mean, but the bottom line is like college is overrated, so it's the education. It's a difference. I tell people all the time. It's the difference between being educated and being intelligent. Yeah, like it's a lot of uh, educated people will act intelligent. A lot of smart shit. dummies. Yeah, a lot of idiots, yeah. and they're, they're not intelligent at all. So I mean, I can't. Anytime, I, I, the first time, I, and, he, and he tried to, and he don't know that he's nowhere nearly as intelligent as I am, but he tried to say, did you go to college? And I'm like, nigga, was that a trunk card? Nigga, yeah. was that the sun? Did you, did you try to sun me and shit? <laughs> yeah. did you I'm like, college? well, I, I mean, I don't even want to say I went to college, but I took some online courses. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't feel smart. You know what I'm saying? I didn't feel yeah. like I was doing nothing clever, no goofy shit like that. But when he said that shit, I was like, oh, this not even a real discussion. And I invited him on to the show. 
to where we can have this discussion and shit. Because I believe, in, I believe in public executions. Yeah, I believe oh, I in know. chopping your head off for everybody. Because a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> definitely had a. I'm a fan of facts, man. That's all it is. But um, yeah, I I was gonna get up and look at that eclipse, but I was tired. <laughs> I was too tired. I was too lazy to go look. I w- I just happened to be outside. My uh, girl got a new job as a teacher, and so she'd been kind of overwhelmed. So I went up there and was helping her out, and I, I didn't run to my car. And, and, uh, it got a little dark for a second. I said, what the hell is going on? I was, I'm scared. And I was like, shit, I thought it was about to rain. So I'm like, let me get to my car before the rain started. Then it got bright again. So I was like, ah, oh, okay, shit. I like, all oh, the eclipse shit. And... Went on back into school. Wow. Was you impressed? Nah. Did you look up? Huh? Yeah. I, I mean, I looked towards the sky. Like, I, I, I didn't look at the sun. Yeah, it was real cloudy. Cause they said the path we was in, it was a lot of clouds, but we wouldn't have been in totality. So it wouldn't have been like, it just got a little dark for like a hot second and kept on going. Like, it, I just kind of looked towards the sky. I wasn't going to look at the sun. And at the end of the day, what did it mean? Not a damn thing. Yeah, it didn't, it, I mean, it impressed me. I mean, I can't put it on my resume. But that's these new niggas, man. What they do is they, they believe everything that they uh, call science. Like, it's some, it's some, science is religion, though. Because there's a lot of faith in science. People don't understand what I say when I say that. Is that where Scientology but, came from? No, nah, it's too good. Scientology. Yeah, I just spoke that. with you. Scientology, this shit came from the Dianetics shit that Ron L. Hubbard Boy. was pushing and shit. It's crazy how niggas can get involved in that shit like Will Smith did. It's some weird shit. Uh, you ever watch that show on that? Farrakhan, Farrakhan fuck with Scientology. Really? Pre- Farrakhan promote Dianetics. And look up that, look up Farrakhan, Scientology, and Dianetics. And I know the, Farrakhan's the, the, a motherfucking uh, crook. Leanne Ryan's got that show on A&E, and she's telling everything. About Scientology? Yes. It's, uh, I think it's called Leaving Scientology or some shit like that. But, oh, like, she, yeah, she's telling all the secret, everything. She was just like, they gonna be in there talking about John Travolta and uh, Tom Cruise be sucking dick. Yeah, they gonna, they gonna kill her. Hell no, but, yeah, they might. It's yeah. weird shit, though. Yeah, she on her second or third se- season. Like, she's telling too much. I mean, how many seasons you get to tell to stitch? I mean, shit. Like, hell. how long can you draw that out? Just, I mean, hell. Tomorrow I'm gonna tell you about the time they would eat my toe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what? Are, I don't understand that shit, but, uh, which is about sir? I don't know. I was like, shit. I'm, I, I haven't watched a lot of episodes, but I just, I, if it ain't on a commercial, I have to see it. I watch it to the commercial. And then Nigga, I you watch that shit. You said, I'm just now fucking realizing that you watch this shit. No, I, I flip this it to the channel. This is on your DVR, man. Nah, hell nah. Nah, hell nah. Nah. I mean, it comes on in between Live PD and like Snitch 40, I mean, First 48. What's Live PD? Man, I don't, what's this, A&E? Yeah. I don't even watch that channel. I mean. Yeah, I fuck with A&E. Andy, if you don't watch that shit, man, you be kind of blind. Cause what's this ID channel and shit like that? Oh, it's Andy, okay. Hold on, listen. I did not know that white people was dying at a high rate like they are yeah. in the most fucked up circumstances. I didn't know these bitches was killing their husbands. I'll I snap and all man, that I didn't shit. Know that yeah, this snap was going ID. On, man. These motherfuckers. Snap. They got snap couples. Why don't they got killer kids. Control, man. They got killer kids. They got killer kids. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Man, why the white crime is out of control and we need to we need to do something about this shit. <laughs> white lives white matter. Life matters. <laughs> white lives matter. As indicated in Charlottesville. But uh you know, like I was saying, no science is religion, nobody can prove anything that they're saying. It's just some shit that they've heard and regurgitating. These niggas out here ain't studying shit. And I'm a firm believer, like I said, in the scriptures and the scriptures describe the earth as being flat. It says it's on a uh, foundation that's unmovable. And what moving means is not rotating. It can have earthquakes, but it's not rotating. It's not rotating around the sun. Everything revolves around the earth. The earth is the center of the universe. The fact of the matter is that Pythagoras and all these uh, Copernicus, they all were sun worshippers. So it's advantageous to uh, uh, the, the philosophy or the doctrine that they push to act like the sun is the center of the universe to uh, induce that worship to the sun. So is the moon and their fate to you? The, the moon is a light. The moon is not a core substance. The moon, that's all you see, a flat. Yeah, a flat. You never see no fucking circle how you make it. That's conjecture and bullshit. The moon, I mean, like I said, I'll relate everything back to the scriptures. The most high said that he created uh, two light sources, a greater light and a lesser light. The greater light is the sun, sun. the lesser that's light is the moon. moon. And that's all they are, lights. And the, what they call planets, and their name of Neptune, Jupiter, 
uh, Mars. They're all named after Roman gods. Oh, God. yeah, the deities are. that they worship. Like people don't believe in this Luciferianism, but the the people who make these decisions are Luciferians. You know what I'm saying? And, and they and they promote it like uh, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? But they name these things after the their gods and things like that to where uh, so called planets. Anytime you see a picture, if you Google a picture of Saturn, they're gonna show you this real beautiful compository. It's not a real picture. If you look at a telescope, what they call Saturn looks nothing like the picture that they paint. It's, it's real dusty, it, but yeah, it's, it's clouds, storms. No, it's just like a little. It's, it's a star. What they call it, wandering stars. Yeah, they're wandering stars, but they give them planets and shit. They act they because then it is it's, it's for one you can hide the most high. You can say, well, if you say he created everything, why are you not explaining the universe to these universities? Like science is taking some goofy shit, like seventy billion trillion light years away. And you just sit there and nod your fucking head like, yeah, 70 billion trillion light years. He's going with that, yeah, yeah. Hey, what the fuck is a fucking 70 year, billion light year? Like, common sense, what the fuck is that? Like, you got me when I was six. You had me. <laughs> you had me when I, I was six. I couldn't say nothing back. I'm a grown ass motherfucker, man. You ain't gonna tell me and shit that these millions, millions. Like, we watch the Star Wars and some shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Star Trek, Star Wars. You can make a lot of money off this shit. Like, <laughs> the, the NASA, they done made a lot of money. And people don't know NASA. Uh, composed of a bunch of Nazi scientists, you know what I'm saying? The, the builders of NASA was um, after World War II, they was extracting scientists from the Nazis. Nazis had a lot of technology. People don't know the Nazis had a lot of technology and shit. And I believe personally that they was getting it from dealing with fallen angels. You know what I'm saying? Well, people call UFOs, but I think they get those technologies from there. And a lot of them got taken here, South American things to that nature. And they, you know, they was like the helpers of the NASA program. And NASA's a fucking lie. I ain't nobody been in no fucking moon. How the fuck you know how much gas you need to get to the moon? Hey, who was the first person to say, let's go up there, past the sky? Like, I'm going to leave where I'm at now, go float. And they, say, and they say they don't got the resources to go back to the moon today. As much, as, it, as they, modern they, as we are now. They said what it took to power the first... Uh, so called the alleged uh, moon trip was like the power and the fucking like they said our cell phones so they had more power than that jet. <laughs> so this iPhone seven got more that, power. Yeah, than yeah, if you take the iPhone seven, you get a hot tub time machine. You can ride, you find an app. And it is waterproof, put under the water, start it up. For, but yeah, man, ain't nobody going through that firmament. Uh, it's a firmament above us, and they try to explain anything well for science and shit to hide the most high or whatever and shit, but. That's why the sky is blue. It's an ocean in the sky. Like they won't tell you they say it's waters above and waters below the firmament. But you know what? We get too deep on that, and I don't yeah, think I don't let's think talk people... about uh, the eclipse and on over to that. Yeah, I don't know if the eclipse was real. I ain't gonna say it was fake, but I don't know if it was real. They told you not to look for a particular reason and shit. You might see the motherfucker cut. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you might see that shit. But they say it's Stanley Kubrick, uh, who he uh, produced the moon landing. They said it was uh, produced in England. It's a lot of theories to it or whatever. But I don't, nobody's stepping on no goddamn moon. Yeah, that shit is ain't gone. on gravity, but the flag was yeah, blowing in yeah. the wind. <laughs> and I mean, like, gravity's a myth, too. I mean, you just simply heavier than the air. That's why the fuck if you jump, you come down. There's not no gravity. You stupid ass. You heavier than You heavy. You heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Helium rise. You know what I'm saying? Helium go up, but... We got off on our little uh, tangent or whatever and shit. Uh, what, man, what's been going on with you this week? Anything interesting? Nah, I just... Yeah, you, you ain't come in late because uh, the fair wasn't here. The fair wasn't here, yeah, so, you know. Yeah. And Corey asked, too. She said, Daddy, come in. I said, the fair gone, baby. She started crying. I was like, well, oh, well, next year. She got spoiled. Yeah, she, she only spoiled. went one day. She did. Yeah. That's all it takes. Yeah. That's all it takes. First time you got some pussy, you was spoiled, wasn't you? Yeah. I only, had some, I only fucked one time. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... What else I was going to say, man? It's funny, Corey came in here, man. He was talking on his phone. I wasn't really eavesdropping, but he's right by me. Yeah. <laughs> he, this nigga was giving out fucking uh, take take the gear from the bitch advice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what that is, man. Like this, this Everybody who who familiar with Corey, man, they know that he, he's a stand-up nigga. got custody of his daughter. He, he's a G about it. So now I guess 
He giving advice and shit. Life lessons and shit. How to get your fucking How to fix your life. Yeah. Corey, fix your, <laughs> fix the baby that you like. Oh, yeah, I'm about to start your class. On everything, nigga. Yeah. You got to maximize your fucking earning. Yeah. You can charge these niggas and, and let this nigga get good. He got so because of his daughter for free. Damn. You he could be one of my success stories. Your fucking commercial. We do yeah. every commercial. We shoot that motherfucker. Hey, I'm Corey. He don't promise you, baby mama. She's a bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Once you see your kids. Yeah, yeah. Cut, cut on my class. I teach you how to get it right. Five, five, five. <laughs> five, five. Five, five. Why do every uh, TV phone ever begin with five, five, five? I had no fucking idea. Uh, it's funny as shit, though, because Dave Spell made a joke about that shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, if you put a number on TV, man, some goofy motherfuckers gonna call that number. Yep. Man. And that's, that's just how it is. I ain't never dealt five, five, five. Yeah, we called the Mike Jones number. Hell, I was a dog when that shit was popping. I didn't want to talk to Mike Jones. You tried to talk to Mike Jones, didn't you? Nah, I just wanted to know if somebody ever called it. They said that was a legit number, was, though. Yeah. I think, like... Sprint uh, took the number away from him. They said that motherfucker was banging. Yeah. But, uh... Damn, I forgot my train of thought. So, what, yeah, you been cool. going, what you got going on this week, man? What you oh, man. Nothing. I'm a fucking loser. I'm a fucking... I'm a fucking loser. I was gonna give y'all to you, I ain't did shit. <laughs> I'm a fucking loser. Ain't that what Eddie Kane daddy did to him? You ain't gonna be shit, cause I want shit. Eddie Kane. Then he looked at his wife and said, I'm just trying to make him better than yeah. me. <laughs> and that's the realest yeah. shit ever. Talk about <laughs> tough love, man. Talk about tough love, man. Ah, uh. oh, shit, tough love. You ever see the movie The Accounting? I know we way off top of here. Is that that being that flip? Yeah. Nah, I, I watched that shit the other day. day. I'm, I'm yeah. Pull it up. That I mean, shit good. I'm on, is it good? Yeah. Let me check it out. He gave them motherfuckers some tough love, for real. Don't say nothing else, because yeah. I don't like spoilers. Yeah. But yeah, man, we're checking out the news and shit, man. We're going to touch up some shit. First off, man, we got to acknowledge the passing of uh, Dick Gregory. I imagine the name is really Richard. Never really thought about it. Sure, he's Richard Gregory and yeah. the obituaries. Yeah. Richard, uh, quotation mark, Dick, quotation mark. Gregory. Gregory. But yeah, man, Dick Gregory, he was a, uh, he started off, he got his fame as a comedian. Uh, Transitioned to activist. Yeah. He was, he changed into an activist. He came from the era of shit, the so-called civil rights and shit, to where they was out here advocating and shit, you know what I'm saying? Please start beating me up, white man, that era. He, he came through that motherfucker, he came through it on fire. He, uh, what we got on time? He was, uh, we had, uh, two minutes, 54 seconds. He, uh, Walk with King. Dick, I like a lot of shit Dick Gregory said. Uh, he was a proponent of us, I guess. Yeah, he definitely was. Um, damn. Is it? A real speaker on Black Lives Matter is not just going with the trend of yelling it. I don't understand, though, man. Like, all the real niggas got killed from that era. Like, like everybody seemed like they got killed. The only ones who survived was the suckers. Jesse Jackson. Jesse man. Jackson, Farrakhan, <laughs> Al Sharpton. Yeah, Jesse was fucking hoes, so he wasn't really, uh... He what? He was out fucking hoes. He was... Man, so was Martin Luther King. Yeah. But Dick Gregory... Well, this he got on the front line. Jesse, like, I catch up with you. Dick Gregory used to be all over the place, and I'm not saying like in an ignorant way. He was real, he was an intelligent man, but he had some associations that made me wonder. Like, I ain't trying to slander the man, he just passed, but he fucked real heavy with Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner, like, bankrolled him. But people don't know Hugh Hefner was bankrolling him back in the day and shit. And he, he like, it's, it's crazy because he had a lot of shit that was weird. Like, the shit he say that, it, it was just against what he... Seemingly stood for. He was in some weird movies too. He, I never seen Dick Gregory in a movie. He was a hot chick. Was it? Yeah. And like he'd be like he'd be in interview, man. He'd be going, he going off. You know what I'm saying? He like was, Charles Manson going off. You ever seen interviews? That's how he'd be talking. Yeah. Like, like you interrupt him. Like, yeah. Uh, so uh, I told Michael Jackson that he need to go to the hospital, and Michael Jackson was scared to go. So I tell him, look, Michael. What we do is we just won't let nobody know you come. Then the interview will be like, well, I thought Michael Jack. Did I ask you what you thought? Yeah, he did. What do you know, huh? Do you know, huh? Have you ever been with Michael Jackson? So it's Kanye. Huh? Kanye. Man, that nigga. How sweet. He was you ain't got the answer. He was a brace of his fuck, man, but he was a proponent of health. He was a vegetarian. He had yeah. a quote 
Says some shit. He don't eat nothing that fart. Uh, pee. Uh, bowel move, whatever and shit. I mean, he was on his shit, man, but it's just some things that I just don't, like, I just can't rock with with these liberals, like these liberal people. And it, it's sad that he passed. He's about, what, 700? <laughs> 71. Death came to threes this weekend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go yeah. there, he was 71. Like 71. No, he was born in 32. I thought like 71. I was born in 1932. You a captain, nigga. You don't need no more from calculator. I don't know when he was. I don't think he was born in like 32. Oh, I'm at a gentleman bet? Nope. Why you already challenging me and shit? I, I don't gamble. Like I'm out here just saying shit. I don't gamble. Man, we, with I my said a gentleman bet. We can bet some real shit like 50 push ups. That's a lot. What, what year was he born? Uh, I'm about to find out. I'm telling y'all, Corey over here on Google and shit. I, I am. 84. Huh? He died. He was 84. So, yeah, I guess that's about 32. He was born in 1932. Yeah. I'm the car catalog. You're the car catalog. <laughs> you the Dewey Decimal System, yeah, the car yeah, catalog. But, but, but Dick Gregory, man, he was cool. He, uh... Ah, ah, what? Uh, yeah, he was born in... He uh, was fucking right. He was born in 32. And, and, right. and in addition to just being this, this activist, he... They, they, it's crazy because they, I'm looking on Wikipedia. They, they call them a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, and that's just how you, that's how you just minimize well, the person. Any, anybody can get on Wikipedia and make a page. But for the you, thing man. is, though, when you look yeah, on Wikipedia, October you gotta 12, check. 1932. You gotta check the site. Yeah, like you have, uh, a good Wikipedia page has good sighting and shit to where you can go on and you can uh, research the information. Mm -hmm. But he was a funny motherfucker though. Like if you check out, if you like comedy. And you go look at his old comedy and shit, man. He, he had some funny shit. Yeah. And he had a, he had a book called Nigger. Nigger like that yeah. was, you can understand how monumental that was at that era because Nas had an album called Nigger, and, and everybody thought that this, shit. Yeah. And they thought that yeah, was some groundwork. Yeah. And you know what? I forgot about that, but yeah, they may have changed it to end. But yeah, that shit. Um. Or the untitled yeah. album. That's what it like. Yeah, you that's what it said was. the untitled album, but it just had an end. And the whips on this back. But this, this is, I'm going to tell you, man, Dick Gregory Cooper, he was a goofy nigga. He was goofy. Black nigga says Listen, cool, he's goofy. <laughs> he he, was, he protested the Civil War and he went on a hunger strike. Like, like I'm telling you, man, niggas, niggas will stick their nose in any fucking thing they can get into. Nigga, I'm not about to starve to prove shit. No war. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? It, it's what it is. They, they don't be fucked up. They, they, be, they be just following what's put before them. Like the, he he just thought he was doing the right thing type shit. I imagine some I people so know that he fucked up, but a lot of people don't know that uh, Dick Gregory ran for uh, president. Did he? he ran for president uh, for the 1968 election as a writing candidate of the Freedom Party? I'm talking like, see, I can read, and when I'm reading, it sound like I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like I been knew this yeah. shit. Like I know he ran for president, but I, I didn't know the details of this I shit. Got you Listen, I'm gonna tell you, man. He garnered for it 47,000 votes. And he got one of them from Hunter S. Thomas. I don't know the fuck that is. Yeah, who is that? Is Sam somebody, White. His name is on Wikipedia. It's highlighted, so it must be important. He got to be you white. You know what I'm saying? But he got the, all those votes and shit, man. And, and of course he didn't win. I hell no. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, we. He he was an activist and shit. He he did a lot of shit, man. He um he stood up against like the Warren Commission. I don't know what you know what that is. It's like when Kennedy got killed. They uh, brought in this commission where they, because it was conspiracy on top. Yeah, oh man, the magic bullet, yeah. and this and that. And he was he made the proponent that that was a bullshit commission, which it was. I get that. Like Kennedy got killed by everybody close to him. Uh, Lyndon Johnson, who was his vice president, he was part of the uh, plot to kill him. The whore, don't forget, she was who? the setup. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Yeah, that bitch was set up in there in Dallas. He in the car with his fucking wife. I mean, shit. She was like, she could've been in on it too. Like, you what know, the you fuck? know, white bitches be like, if you don't leave your wife, you got. <laughs> could've yeah, been. Sound yeah. plausible. Nigga, look. Okay. Sounds plausible. Fuck it. Marilyn Monroe has something to do she with it. She got too. something to do with it too. She, she blew up his spot. She said happy birthday to him in front of his wife. Side it was his birthday. Side bitch, let me get it. I mean, she made it extra special. Listen, if you with your girl, and I see Beyonce, my side bitch. Oh, Beyonce, oh, your wife ain't looking like that's your side bitch. This is a famous bitch mm -hmm. who look like she suck a lot of dick. So if Beyonce comes to you and she's singing all sultry and shit to you in, in front of uh, your girl, what you gonna do? 
I mean, how like you don't you ain't in her head, but how you think your girl react? She gonna say, "Why you looking at her like that?" She, See, I know how my asked, girl is. On, yeah, on. she asked you that. Yeah, she. Done she done tried that. to ruin your fucking fun like that. This is Beyonce, and Beyonce don't sing you every day. Yeah. Why the fuck do you think I'm looking at her like that? Yeah, I wanna Beyonce, fuck the shit out of her. She might wanna fuck us. Well, I can imagine that me and Beyonce sat in a conversation that she would consider at least a threesome. No. You don't think her and Jay had a threesome? I don't wanna what the fuck did Jay gotta do with this? You wanna fuck her with Jay Z? Nah. What you saying? I just wanna fuck. I'm just saying she might have a threesome with us, man. The old lady. Never <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And she ruined it by asking me why I'm looking at her. Man, look, if that's what's wrong with bitches, man. They be acting like you ain't got eyes. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, man, see, I ain't want to get in this, but you know what I'm saying? This is where the spirit lead. Where the spirit lead. Where the Lord use, let him use. No, I ain't going to say the most high. I don't know what spirit this is, <laughs> but it's something that's just driving me. But look. What's no, well, let's get back to Dick Gregory. Oh, fuck Dick Gregory. This is more important than Dick Gregory. Sorry, Bob. He Baba. sound like uh, Sorry, Bob. Oh boy, Barbershop. Fuck listen, listen, man. If uh, you got eyes, you got eyes. They made the look. Yeah, and and we hunt. We've been hunting our whole lives. We've been, we been hunting our whole lives, and we we trained to even yeah. if we gotta suppress that fucking original emotion. Don't even suppress. It, I just look. No, nah, I'm talking about the fuck. Uh, you can't suppress the look, but to suppress the chase. You know what I'm saying? Like you can like hmm, mm -hmm. like you a fucking lion. And you and you sit like there, this, uh, and you with your bitch line, the lioness, uh, and you and you walk, you sitting there. And, see some and, more lioness pussy yeah, walk by. Uh, that ain't that. I said we hunters. You uh, see that gazelle trot by. Ah uh, yeah. And you looking at the gazelle running. <laughs> <laughs> you are uh, hungry. And you, and you wanna change up? You wasn't even hungry. You <laughs> wasn't even hungry at first. You <laughs> see that gazelle going by? He just running. It's graceful and shit. It's just like the wind behind his ears and shit. And then you look at that fucking goofy ass line and she's like, on that fucking mood killing growl. Did you hear like, me too? He like, bitch, I'm not even chasing it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Bitch, I could be out here chasing it and killing it and eating this pussy or whatever. Without you. He, bitch, you gotta understand that it took everything in me just to stay still. Boy. And you still wanna question that? You know what I'm saying? I, I like looking at gazelles, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I look at a gazelle. And so, and so if, if you sitting with your girl, and she asks you, and Beyonce is scantily clad, as they like to say in novels. In novels, <laughs> yeah. Scantily clad. What, what the, what the thing on the cover? Why are you looking cover? at her? Why are you looking at her like that? Yes, do you, are you stupid? Yeah. Are you are you a fucking? I want to fuck the shit out of Beyonce. I've been thinking about fucking Beyonce since she kept saying no, 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 no. Boy. You know what I'm saying? She said bills, 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 bills. bills, bills. I've been wanting to fuck, and you got the nerves to ask me this half cock retarded ass question while I want to fuck me while I'm looking at her. But if you see, you, That's you, how you don't want to ruin. If you don't want to ruin your fucking smile, you got to say shit like. Oh, I, I wouldn't even look. I wouldn't even look. I wouldn't even looking at her. I look past her. I'm gonna get to get better. That's Beyonce. That's who they. I thought. Oh, this time I thought this was Michelle. Yeah. Oh, that time I thought she was Michelle. <laughs> I, 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 I kicked that to grew. I'm trying to figure out why she's still here. <laughs> I don't be paying them no attention. All right, let's get back to our deaths that came in threes. And, Dick and I got something to say about that deaths in threes after you say this shit though. Uh, Jerry Lewis. I didn't even know. Yeah, he died. Shout out to the Nutty Professor. Yeah. Uh, who's gonna do the telethon? And a special recipe to Rainy St. Patrick. Tariq got her killed and shit. So, she got herself killed. Yeah, she but she's a woman. Know. She went out there. Man, she she should have left Ray Ray alone. She should have saved her ass in the fucking in the school. Bill, trying to be a hero. Let, let Tariq deal with his own bullets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, that's anybody watch Power. If you ain't know, seen it, there's a spoiler. <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> spoiler alert. Ray bit the bullet. Man, in the chest. Ray Ray ain't getting no fucks. She said, I know who you are. This is one of the goodest. This is one of the goodest. Goodest day. Yeah, this is one of the best episodes of the Power in a second, man. This one, Power is one of the best terribly written show I've ever seen in my life. Out of way, 50 uh, <laughs> took out the Mexicans. Man, look. I told the motherfucker, 50 Cent came in. Kane came in that motherfucker. Johnny Cage. Yeah, he did. Had the hat down, brim low, and I'm shit. Thinking, what kind of assassins you seen it with Nas? Yeah. Are these niggas ninjas? You know what I'm saying? This is some hood shit, and... It, it's crazy. And the one man. nigga that had a gun, he took it from him. Man, listen, this nigga was Steven Seagal. <laughs> I don't know what. Nah, ain't nobody said Steven Seagal. I seen him go through a whole movie without reloading. Listen, 
I'm going to tell you, man. I, I tell people, I think Power, they write the episodes Friday night. It's, like, it's, like, it's like a turn paper. Like a shit. turn paper. Like you sleepy and shit, motherfucker. Like, man, you got that. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Man, you got that. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I got time. Next thing you know what I mean? You it's know Sunday that. night. You got to get turned to paper in Monday. Yeah, you're right. Stupid shit. Okay. Angela going to bend over and tell Craig. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever that Mexican <laughs> shit she said when he got killed. Oh, uh, yeah. But, but you said death came in first. Who else? Jerry Lewis. Jerry. I don't think... I don't think we give too much of a fuck about Jerry Lewis. Although, right although if you go look at the old Nutty Professors, that shit's still fun. Yeah, that shit's the, the old Nutty the Professor original, funny shit. The original Nutty Professor. They probably, people probably think Eddie Murphy, uh... Man, what the fuck? Listen, I'll get this update, nigga. I hate the... John Jones, UFC just tested positive for a drug test for the last fight. Again? This nigga's a junkie. He did. Now he's this, a dope fiend. This nigga, this nigga's a junkie. Nah, junkie sounds nice. It's like class, like a, uh, nah, like an escort. Listen, man. He's a, like if you're a, a faggot or you're homosexual, you still sucking dick that you shouldn't be sucking. We ain't gonna beautify this shit. Yeah, he's nigga. a junkie, yeah, a nigga. dope fiend, a geek, a tweet. How is he whooping niggas on dope, though? Why he on dope? Like they, I, don't say what he test, they don't say what he tests positive for. Man, John Jones, man, that's embarrassing. It's so that's much shit that's outlawed, though, when you get in these kind of text Man, forces nigga, shit. don't do cocaine. It's that simple. Don't do cocaine. You said you know what he's tested for. Well, he has history of cocaine. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Story. Now, we know he's a junkie. Like, how bad do Connor got to feel to get beat up by a dope fiend? Connor? I mean, what's Dan his name? Dan Cormier? Yeah, Dan Cormier. Like, I mean, he got to feel like shit. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, twice. He got to feel like, well, shit, nigga, he was geeked up. He, he had extra he, strength. He, 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 like, like Tyrone Biggums. Hey, that nigga, that nigga was Tyrone. No, nah, fuck Tyrone Biggums. That motherfucker was Tony Montana. Tony Montana. Yeah, you know he did saying? take a lot of bullets at these yeah, stores. Yeah. But yeah, man, I didn't want to interrupt, but we got the deaths on threes. And shit, I hate when people say that, because they act like only three motherfuckers died. I know. Like, worldwide, it's like motherfucking thousands of people dying yeah, a day. only three shit. people that. But it's only three, these are three to the count. three people in the entertainment world. Like these are three to count as the rescue fucks. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, but um, nah, that was nah, it was just two Jerry Lewis. Man. I mean, there was more. I don't want to say it's just two, but it was two here and there. Yeah, yeah and that man, it, 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 that that's scary. Yeah, if you if you don't mind your business, if you be out frogging, hanging out, it, yeah. it can be dangerous. They killed the one thing in the intersection. Word. Forty second and Mid Hoffer. Like that's a busy intersection. Right at the gas station. Right, like right, no, in the middle of the intersection. I'm talking right in front, yeah, right of, in front, front of the gas, school. Right in front of, yep. Right in front of the gas station. That's how come I don't go to the gas station. I don't go to the, like, I don't go to the hood gas stations. But everybody get killed to the gas station. Can't sell CDs. I don't go to the hood gas station. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what? <laughs> that's crazy. Not wax CDs. Yeah, can't sell wax CDs. Now, I go to the hood gas station for the candies and stuff. Whatever, but hell. I ain't hanging out at the gas station. Like, me sending people to the gas station. that's how come, like, like, all jokes aside, man, like, when you out at a certain hour, man, you know the element of the environment you in, man, you gotta be extra, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The first lady got killed at 8 o'clock. 8 p.m.? Yeah, 9 p.m. Uh, 38 to Emerson. 38 to Emerson. That's another busy intersection. Yeah, busy intersection right there. Because uh, it used to be a, a marathon, but when they when the dude owners got busted for that counterfeit shit, they changed the name. Yeah, you know the counterfeit over there? Yeah. I hate when shit like that happen. I don't, I don't like that. Oh, shit, I could have got in on that. Boy, they, uh, because they owned the house right next to the gas station. They found 750000 in cash. And it's like, like, uh, it, I mean, I just. This is what I hate. Like, wouldn't it be a white, a non-black criminal? Like, they said they shit run for years and years and years. But it's like they catch a black criminal so quick. Like, he had a three-month run of selling dope. But every other non-black criminal, like American Greed. Why you, why you on like that? It just seemed like yeah, just looking for the black people to arrest. I mean, like, why did it bother you? Guys? I mean, it don't really bother me, but I just think it's it's kind of messed up that like we gonna catch them off the streets. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. like, we need to, we need to do this shit at the same time. It is, yeah, you know, I so say got all this manpower shit. I see three niggas, three cops being on one person, like send two to another case or something. I mean, I say I you why it bother me because it's... I mean, it don't bother me per se. Like, oh, man, I'm shit. I just think it's it's weird how, like, they catch the black criminals. You think it's weird? Weird is some shit that's an anomaly, some shit that ain't normal. Don't you think that's normal for that to happen? Damn. It's being normal. 
for any for us to be on the opposite side of justice is not weird. I, if we start getting justice, then that's when the shit's strange. Yeah, definitely when that. So I mean, like, it, 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 shit don't be shocking me no more, man. Like I don't let people inside me. Like when I say people, I mean like the media. Mm-hmm. I, I can't. I don't get incited by these things no more, man. I mean, I'm cognizant of the fact that it's what happened. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy that you can become desensitized to. Injustice. Yeah. Like, when you understand, like, the game it, it, is. it is. And something else we need to say. Speaking of crime. Speaking of crime. Speaking of crime. Speaking of crime. Get on Mr. Cole. What the details of this? I glanced at it. I ain't going to details. Okay, so here's what I got of it when I read the story. Now, listen, we talking about mystical. The motherfucking rapper, the No Limit Star. The man Nike. right cheer. That, that rowdy, goofy motherfucker with the. Uh, he has weave at one point in time. Is he? I don't think it was weave. He has weave. You, you think it's weave? Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, I know, I know was home. him and his homeboy has been charged with first degree rape in the state of Louisiana. And to, to let you know how serious first degree rape is in Louisiana, there used to be a show called Son of Guns, and Will Hayden was the owner, and he got convicted of first degree rape. They gave his ass life plus 30 years. So apparently, him and his well, home. What's second degree rape? I, I don't know, but, hey, I never heard, like, I don't know what degrees, but I guess the severity of it, him, Miss was at a, uh, at a casino in Shreveport, Louisiana, him and his homeboy, and apparently, he met some chick there, or uh, whatever, took her to her room, raped her, took it from her, but now, can you go to a room and get raped? That's what I said. Remember what happened with Mike Tyson, Desiree Washington, even though she showed up at 3.30 in the morning, he still got convicted of rape. They on two million dollar bonds. And two we'll, million we'll make, dollar bonds. We'll, we'll, we'll make this stand cash out. bonds. We'll make this stand out. For, first off, let, let's establish the fact that Mystical is historically a sick motherfucker. This is second. He's a sick motherfucker. Last he did a he did a rape he bitch. Did six years. He did he did a sexual assault. Uh, he, he put guns in that bitch and made her suck his dick. No, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. He made her fuck everybody because she was stealing money. He made her suck his dick too. Yeah, you can look it up. Go to your... I, I know. Pull up that magic wand. <laughs> yeah, pull up that magic pull, wand. Pull up that magic wand. He nah. put the gun to... Now, how disturbed and sick yeah. of a human being do you have to be? She stole money. She took like a couple million dollars. Hit the bitch in the mouth and call the police. With your fist. Not your dick. Yeah. Do not... This ain't... I'm not about to... How... Nigga, how... Because I'm saying he's sadistic. Because how you get turned on? Yeah. I know he ain't put no limp, no limp biscuit in her mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know the nigga was horny. He fed the bitch a hard dick with a gun to her head, so he was turned on by that uh, that the rough play. Nigga, this is this is frightening. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. ever want to see mystical. I, if this is what you're gonna be out here doing, <laughs> mystical, Mr. Michael Tyler, I think you should stay in that jail. Now here's the crazy part: out of all the no limit soldiers, he's the only one that was really a soldier in real life. Yeah, he fought in Afghanistan. Uh, he was an actual he was so, he's an actual soldier. Man, he, got, <laughs> he, he suffered from post traumatic stress disorder. STD, yeah. This he, nigga, they program that nigga to rape bitches. This nigga out here just willy nilly stealing pussy. This is crazy. I don't, yeah. If anybody, yeah, man, he, imagine him and R. Kelly do a song together right now. R. Kelly and I ain't raping bitches. He just keep them confined. He ain't this chick just bitches. came out. So she she said, said he held her against her will from the time she was fifteen to the time she was twenty one. Where the bitch? You believe that? Here's what I I don't okay, Dad. You believe mystical? Yeah, I believe this shit. Then you should believe R. Kelly. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go with allegedly. R. Kelly, R. Kelly don't have a historical. But anyway, here's R. What, Kelly's not known to hold bitches hostage. I'm sure that bitch could have left. But, but here's what the chick to. said: said she paid her. She had a uh, a non a confidentiality agreement. So now she said she don't even care about the money or getting sued. Ever since the shit came up with R. Kelly a couple weeks ago, she want to save future women. For being held against her with what future girls. If you sign a contract, you, that's like, nigga, how are you signing a contract but being held against your will at the same No, time? she's had a contract to get paid out, but that's safe. That, that go to the police. Like, well, I'm about to leave, but before I go. Pay me. Cash me out. Come on, man. Like, shit don't make sense. Everybody, you gotta understand, there's a lot of people, opportunities. They always trying to look for their face. Every- but if I could make the money to say that our killer was holding me hostage oh, and man. making me wash dishes. Cause I'm sure R. Kelly's not a faggot. I know I'm not. Yeah. So he might be my high job. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> he got me around there. Hey Hector, go cut the grass. My name Corey. Oh, man. Now, Hector, get your punk ass out there and cut the grass. I gotta get out of here. Yeah. I gotta get out of here. He gonna pay me. 
I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm always looking for the, for the big lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for it. I, I used to fantasize about walking when Walmart used to have the TV suspended from the air. I used to walk. Don't have that no more. I used to walk extra slow, hoping that it maybe a blessing coming in just finally hit me. And I wasn't trying to be crippled. I was trying to make grades my shoulder. I know how to overreact. So Tracy Morgan, that's what it. That I don't want to go through that. I don't. I don't want to come out half retarded. You know, what's half retarded for you? What is? I, like, I don't want to come out half retarded. You know, what I'm saying? if I got to come out. Like, Tony Lee, what are you doing, Corey? I don't want to do that shit. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't trying to come out like that, man. Like, I'm I'm trying to balance it and shit. Like, yeah. how much of a retard am I willing to be for? Yeah. Like, Give me a broke arm or how something. Much you charge, how much do you charge losing hand? I don't know if I don't want to. I don't want to lose no limbs, though. But That's I'm the saying, point. Dude, you got a price on your limbs. Like, two, two million. That's not enough. I swear to God. Keep that. Keep that. Keep Take that, that money. With you. Fuck that. Keep that money. I, yeah. I, I, I need these. Yeah, I, need so I, these. I, I got no price on like, like, You can't, like, you can't pay me. I don't want to even lose like the tip of my finger. I wouldn't yeah. need the tip of my finger for a million dollars. Uh-huh. I'm not giving you shit. Even, I need to look at my hand and see a finger there. Like when I worked for the state, uh, uh, this Mexican uh, couple, their son died at Walmart. It was one of those landing mirrors. And you know, little Julio ran off, went inside of his mother, and went behind the mirror. Uh, he was so small that he pushed the mirror at the bottom and it fell and crushed him. And so, you know, they ended up suing Walmart. And he died? Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How old was he? He was probably like three or four. Damn. Yeah. That's like negligence just on a parent. Too. Yeah, that's what, it, that's, that's what it was. That's why, you know, Walmart didn't, um, I, don't, I don't know what the, the assignment of the, the case was, but needs to say, I don't think the, the uh, Hispanics yeah. got paid or whatever. Six minutes. So yeah, man, Miss Good, yeah. listen, I'm glad he turned himself in. Come yeah. I'm gonna keep real with you. Say what you want. It's look ugly for him. If he was up this way and they had a uh, like a reward, I'll make that citizen's risk. I'll be out there like a bounty hunter. Would you consider extension? That ain't snitch he's a fucking rapist. I'm not protecting no rapist. Nah. Fuck you mean stitching. I'm telling him. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hey, you fucking rapper! <laughs> Get over here, you pussy still a fucker! Yeah, rape only fun when you playing. If you just playing. <laughs> Real life rape ain't fun, man. Oh. You know what I'm saying? When you, you playing with a bitch, you fuck yeah, with, man. That's, yeah. Girl, that's, give me that pussy. Stop that's, playing. I ain't doing this. You yeah, you are. I ain't doing She putting, she tuning up. Yeah. Fake rape, you choking. Get over here. Yeah. Yeah. Neck and shit. Oh, you fake sleep, girl. Give me that pussy. Hell yeah, yeah, man. But that, that violent shit. I, I think I tell on the rapist, too. That where you got that look in your eye and shit, and you look like you gonna kill him. I don't know. That, that, that's somebody else's. I would miss the uh, Listen, you need help. I'll yeah. be, be like negotiating with you and shit. Like, listen, I'm not here to judge you. <laughs> yeah. I'm not here. Listen, if I don't get you in here, they're going to come in and kill you. Yeah. I start Let me to take you. Just, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Let me take you in. Yeah, they, so they won't me. I'll walk in front of you. Yeah. Listen, listen, I'm unarmed. Yeah. I'll try all around. <laughs> listen, go listen, listen, I'm unarmed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't have anything to worry about. I'm on your side. Yeah. Listen. You got some weed on you. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't, I'm the brain shit. But they, they present, they have a chick that's supposed to be testifying with him saying, you know, there's yeah, no the way bitch on the, rap. the bitch on the rap. She yeah. got arrested. Yeah, she got arrested. She got arrested. Accessory after the fact. Yeah. Like accessory, accessory, accessory justice. And accessory to first degree rape after the fact. They was trying to have a threesome with that bitch and she wasn't going. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. They, they was trying to run her. She like, nah, I'm going to fuck Miss I don't know who little Antoine is over there. He ain't yeah. never rap. No, nah, him and the bitch was trying to uh, fuck her, I think. I think it was him and the dude. Because the dude is charged with first degree rape too. Oh, him yeah. and his buddy, yeah. The chick is only charged with accessory after the fact for lying to the police. It's Misko and his homeboy is charged with first degree rape. Oh, yeah. So she probably like, I can fuck you, Misko. I don't know who Antoine is. Wait, what are you, Rody? Misko almost 50, ain't he? Yeah, I mean. <laughs>
Yeah. Like, hey, why you eat free? Then she opened up to you, then why? she automatically loved you. Now, now you she... No, you yeah. automatically, it's going to be some kind of fucking comfort for her to mention that anyway. You know, a, yeah. a lot of women been raped. Yeah. Raped and molested, but they don't, they don't speak on it, man, yeah. because, you know what I'm saying, it's fine. They, they feel bad, which they shouldn't. But I always say, if you get wet, it ain't raped. I stand firm by that. <laughs> I stand firm by that, so, I did you like it? What you say? So I'm just asking, bitch. I'm just trying to make it skirt, make sense. You was skirting all over the place, so. Yeah, but but all jokes aside, though, man, I hope that this ain't no bullshit. And I really yeah. hope that he didn't do this shit. Yeah, I hope he didn't do it, but I hope, like, like I, I always wish a woman was here so I could ask her, like, you know. Oh, if women believe that shit. Yeah, okay. dude, because, you know, it's like you guilty to prove innocent as a black man. Anyway, then, you know, especially that rape. Like, rape is so hard. Kind of like battery. It's so hard to prove and disprove. How the fuck do you prove rape? Right? Yeah, how do you prove rape? Right? I like, told How do you prove I told that's, that's crazy. Yeah, it's like, like how do you prove people, it? It's a lot of people who do time and shit and they get found out they was innocent. You know what I'm saying? Like a bitch, that's a power being a woman, like he raped me. Yeah. Like, uh, what? Uh, I did what? Bitch, you gave up will we? And then here's you here's me a catch twenty two. Bitch, I recorded us. Oh, now I'm telling you, you legally recorded me. So now which charge do you want to face? That's not even a question. Yeah. Then give me for four years. Give me for four years. Give me for, <laughs> for being that good. I destroyed the table. Level, with. I'm a low level sick bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Don't high level me. Yeah. I'm not a high level. But yeah, bitch, we need to chill out. Then he got the register. If you want to call, you want to do, <laughs> you want, ER should be registered. Sick fuck. Man, listen, nigga, you want to tell your side of the story? Contact me at 317 748. <laughs> but uh yeah man, something else going on, me Speaking uh, of rappers. No, speaking yeah. of rappers, great segue. Yes. Look at you, nigga. Yeah. Look at you me you're training and shit, yeah. practicing. Okay, I'm gonna say speaking of me. You the segue two times, man. I'm proud of you. That's no, no, shit. Yeah. Famous thing they was talking about was that well, not famous, but some popular shit they talking about on uh social world is Jay Z the interview with Rap Radar. Yeah. He give a detail. It's rare that Jay Z going to deep interviews now and shit. Um He on a retirement tour. Yeah, I think that's what this is. Like, yeah, shit. he was on there. He was talking about a lot of shit concerning the making of the album, uh, things to deal with titles, some of the reactions from the album, uh, namely from Kanye West, Future. Uh, yeah, and he, he 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 he's real business savvy. Like yeah. some of the shit he say, man, makes sense, man. Like I don't mean I say, a lot of shit he say makes sense business wise. He said the album was supposed to come out on April the fourth. That's what he said. Yeah, the four four. Oh yeah, four, four, and I still don't know what the symbolism of the numbers is, but I'm sure it's something from that Lucifer. From that Lucifer, that Lucifer got wrapped. That Lucifer got wrapped his ass up. I ain't, I, I ain't lost in the sauce. I ain't lost in the sauce, nigga. You can rap, but I know what you're doing. But anyway, we ain't here to talk about that. We here to talk about that interview, which was a fantastic interview. Yeah, uh, it's a definitely good. Interview. Elliot Wilson and some uh, B dot. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. He uh, used to work for. Uh, he actually he started out on Shady Forty Five. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know I used to hear him on there. Oh uh, yeah. But it was a good interview they did in black and white for whatever reason. I didn't understand that. I was like, what the fuck? At first, I, I wanted to tap my TV, my phone, yeah. and shit like that. What's wrong with the phone? But yeah, it was a good interview, man. Like I I listened to it. It always took the last twenty minutes, so I didn't get to uh, ask you. First off, he talked about a personal album. Was you can tell this is. His, Probably his most personal album. He did it's tell only about personal album. He talked about his mother being a lesbian, yeah. his father being absentee. Um, he spoke on that too. He talked about the, his, his daughter and shit, what he trying to leave her. He mentioned his sisters and brothers there. Uh -huh. It's a real personal album. Yeah, because he said back in the day, he just sprinkled like a little personal, like on that You Must Love yeah. Me. He said, but he never had where a whole album was this personal, like from beginning to end. And he explained why it was so short too, or whatever he said, because he gave all of him. You know, like, he, he didn't really need no more, like, two more would just been. Well, I'm not trying to know something about when he fell off his bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it was trending to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I ain't want to shit shitting on myself. My mom was mad because she had no more diaper money because Agnes had left us. Agnes had left us. Yeah. <laughs> and her girlfriend was tripping. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But uh, we already nah, said that. come out to after, uh, probably not too long ago, I think. Not too long ago. Yeah, probably a couple years ago. He so, had to know that every bitch came there with his aunt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> his mom come out the room wiping her mouth off and shit. He had to know that was awkward or something. I, I, I kill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like came up in the wire. She coming there always sniffing her upper lip. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. But like we already discussed, this fantastic album is nothing to interview. What uh, what exactly was touched upon on Kanye shit? You know, he uh spoke. He was speaking about how Kanye went on the rant when he was in Sacramento. He was like, you know, Kanye ran it like, you know, when my when my wife got robbed, you know what I'm saying, you and Beyonce didn't come visit me. You know, that's messed up. Beyonce is too high, too powerful to come visit my wife. And he said, hold on, Jay, I know you got killers. Don't send them out for me. You could send Blue Ivy over to play with love. This shit was weird. Yeah. This, this whole thing was fucking weird. That's that Henny. That's that liquor talking. That's that nigga shouldn't be this emotional. Like, nigga should I, I, I had told somebody this, this week that we all emotional, but we all can't let emotions control us. Emotions control us. I'm not controlled by it. Not, the older I get, the more everybody I'm to deal with it, my emotions. And I say emotions, I ain't talking about all these niggas behind the crown of bitches. Yeah. I'm talking about how I react with violence, violently in every situation. Yeah. I just told somebody it's hard for me to get mad. Like, I can't get mad like I used to. Yeah, it's hard for me to get mad, too. But I guess that's the growth and, um, you know what I'm saying? Just growing and shit. And I don't understand Kanye. He older than us. Why are you just fucking gay? Why are you up there? Kanye and, same age. And he be... But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. You graduated in 97 too, didn't you? Yeah. all the same age. You about to turn 50 this year though. Yeah, I might turn 39. I just turned 38. Uh, you got hell back in the You got hell back in the You can do your pluses. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but yeah, it was a good interview. And then he, he, this, that's how come he said the thing about uh, the twenty million. I gave you twenty million. You got me what? Twenty minutes on stage. Yeah. What the fuck was he thinking? And then he said he has a dog that I know that he know he fucked up. He said they had arguments before, and you know, they like disagreements. And he said there never been this much space in between. Like he said he ain't talked to Kanye since the rent. And he said he shouldn't have put that twenty million in there, like putting their personal business out there like that, cause you know he was struggling financially or whatever. He was like, but it just went so good in the song at the point in time of how I was feeling. Like, damn, they got I looked out for you. I don't understand how that much emotion between grown men. Yeah. Like when you friends, you conduct yourselves in friendly manners. Like yeah, disputes. Like I don't even have disputes with my friends. Yeah. Man. Like it is, but they say money changes people. They say fame, money, and all that shit divide people. So I know I got a few friends and shit that we're going to beef if I ever get a couple of dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're going to just be prepared. I, like, I don't mind, like, debate is good. I like that. Yeah. With the, like, we have a, the Calico Lux debate. Like, yeah, that's it, different. That's different. Like, yeah. we, we'll have a debate. I ain't going to worry about Marine Corps play with Destiny. Yeah, I ain't going to send no yeah. shots at your girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nothing like that, but I just... And these ain't young niggas. This shit you expect for young J49. niggas. J49. These, these niggas who been... It'd be 48 this year. It'd be 48 this year. It's like... 50. Yeah, we rounded off. Rounded off. 10th. Yeah. But it's like, these ain't people who new to the industry. These are people who've been around the industry, been around disputes, beefs, losing friends and shit. And so you, you expect them to act better than you wish they would. It's, uh, the crazy thing about it, it, when him and Dane broke up, he, uh... Well, he kind of took a shot. Well, when they Rockefeller split the yeah. company. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of pause. But when, uh, he kind of took a shot at Dane, but not like, you know... Not like how he talked about Kanye, but kind of yeah. along the same lines. Like I heard a motherfucker say they made a hoe. Okay, so. Make another hoe. Make another hoe. But with, like with the uh, future shit, he threw a little shot. Like, kind of the play on words. Yeah, man. I don't understand if you could, future could take it personal. It's yeah. like, uh, what do you say? How did he He's play like, football? Oh, uh, future. In the future, other niggas playing football with your son. Yeah, for people who don't know the background of that is uh, Sierra, which was future's uh, slut. Tasha, the modern day Tasha, yeah. <laughs> the real life Tasha. <laughs> it's just tossed. It's the top. It's just getting tossed. Man, Bow Wow, the future, to 50. To 50. Me. Uh, but, um, you had her too? Yeah, it was a short spell. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was a fair. A quick affair. Yeah. But um, she got she married to Russell Wilson. It's odd they get in a line up with Slug. Yeah. But you know, good job. He loved Russell. her, man. He, he loved her. He, he divorced his wife for her. Good. <laughs> good. 
Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Big old cushy yeah. white. You come <laughs> home. You come home. We ain't got too much to offer. We got this hole here. She, yeah. she, she can dance her ass off. Oh, she can dance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what we got for you. But listen, yeah, she, she, she got a ready so, made so family. Be, you know you yeah, ain't got so, no kids and you like playing stepdaddy. So. so Russell, he do what he's supposed to do and shit. You in a relationship with a woman, you look out for a kid. You treat the child like it's yours. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So he interacts with the little boy and shit, which he's supposed to do. And they live in a family atmosphere. But it's all time, we ego-based. Yeah. Like, ego-based. So. You got that nigga any football jersey. Yeah. Besides a Russell Wilson jersey. Nigga, we from Atlanta. Get that nigga Matt Ryan or old Deion Sanders throwback or like. Shit, you could have got that motherfucker to, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, who was it? Sean was that? Sean was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. anybody. Sean Matt Spurs. Hasselbeck or yeah, something. Yeah. Richard Sherman. Ah, right, he don't fuck with Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman don't, they don't like each other, so. But the thing is, though. Yeah, um, you can have a nigga any other jersey. Like, U.S. Sierra's cool. Y'all can put Magic Russell Wilson jerseys on. Oh, y'all won't. Future took offense to that Jay-Z line. What did Future yeah. say? He was responding to songs or whatever? First, first he responded on the ground with, like, the money phone shit. It's like, you ain't got the juice like that. So he still had a picture with the money phone. Then he uh, was like, you know, kind of took a shot. Like, I can't believe, you know, he would take a shot at me or whatever. But after Jay cleared up what he meant by the bar or whatever, Future was like, I kind of understand, you know, what he was saying. Like, on oh, some real shit. Like, if you ain't with your child, now you ain't doing shit for your son and your girl leave. It's going to be another nigga in the future. Just so happy his name is Future. Yeah. You know oh, it ain't just so happy. That wasn't no happy scenes. That was... A good bar. That was a, a good fantastic bar. Fantastic bar. Man, that shit. But, but he just explained he playing on words and, you know, niggas sensitive and rightfully so in this situation. Yeah. I would have took offense. I would have been offended. I, if you just said some slick shit like that, I don't play that but shit. But as a man, so you make that phone call. I mean, they just did a song together. Yeah. Listen, as a man, don't be mentioning my personal life like this. Like, so the same shit he was talking about Kanye about the same shit he just did. Because he got on Kanye for mentioning his kids yeah. and his wife, so it's he just turned around and did the same thing. And, and he might have, it's all about perspective because he don't feel like he's being malicious. He feel like yeah. Kanye was on some bullshit where usually when you doing the bullshit, you don't notice it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's just like that, man. I mean, it was, it was a good interview. Anybody get a chance to check it out, man. Yeah, it's, it's long as fuck, but. It's an iron long, very catching on He be saying some real shit, man. Like, I, yeah. I got tired of people saying that. Oh, Jay Z, he's doing real shit on this album. Like he's saying shit, you should fucking know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I invest, and it's spend wisely. Yeah, like if you don't know that by now, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But he he's saying some real shit though, man. Talking about how he even talked about the money phone shit. Yeah, he said you he know, said some real shit about that. Yeah, he said I'm not saying don't do it. You know, if you get money, get money. I'm just saying there ain't no, no money. There ain't no money to us. Like we getting that money too, but you know we get more money than that. Which is, I mean, you know how them New York niggas be talking and shit. You want to, uh, son, USA say. Yeah, niggas, niggas, I'm telling you, man, the ego of men, we always, like, we, we, we battle different ways than women do. Yeah, we, you know what I'm saying? It's all about ego, we ego driven and shit, any chance you get to assert that, especially if you're alpha. Like, some niggas can't identify with that because they're not alphas and shit. They don't, yeah. they're not used to be in a control situation. But look, though, man, we done had a fantastic show. Ah, yeah, it's pretty dope. We'll wrap this shit up, though, man. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, man, what I like about this shit, man, we vibe off each other. Yeah. And this ain't me trying to ask you for to dinner or no shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, man, it'd be hard for me to just go when it's just two people and shit, man. But, uh, it's a fantastic show, man. Um, shout out to Dick Gregory again, man. Uh, he, he, he meant something to a lot of people. Uh, damn, he died. He passed and shit, like, you can't say ain't, like, ain't I don't want to no act this. You get fucking own activists. Yeah. Fuck you, no, man. I mean, activists, like, man. Fuck that. That nigga's appointing themselves your leader. Dick Gregory's never been my leader. Never. <laughs> Martin Luther King has never been my leader. Uh, Farrakhan has never been my leader. No, I don't have leaders. I don't have activists. These niggas are not acting on my behalf. If you're acting on my I behalf, see you see, uh, you're going to have them build with 12 players. Not, I know we can rap. Enough. The 12 players from the Browns nil last night doing that. I don't even know what they're trying to accomplish, though. I like now. At I don't this get point, it at this point. Yeah, I don't get it at this point. point again, what are you? What are you doing? Everybody sacrificed the NFL contracts now, huh? Like, like, I don't understand. Like, what's the end game? I'm glad the white but boys you know get what? involved. I'm like, why? I don't know. I want to see them. Niggas win. always feel like they need no, white no. people validation. I don't want that validation. I'm just glad because I want to see a white boy fuck up that, which is not gonna happen. He'll never get. They, he'll always find. He can land the spot. I'm gonna tell you, man. Niggas gonna feel valid what they doing to a white person doing too. Like the, well, Jerry, well, Jerry's with us. Jerry with us. You, you have to respect us now. Mm. 
Because yeah, they're going to sell respect they sell. But we forgot to touch on this Kyrie and uh, Isaiah Thomas trade. Yeah, that's it. Who won the trade? I think they both won. It helps both teams out. But with Cleveland getting Brooklyn's pick, that helps them out more. That's the Brooklyn pick? Yeah, they get the Brooklyn That's the Brooklyn pick? Yes. What the fuck? They gave up, the, they gave up Jay what? Crowder, the no, Brooklyn Cleveland pick. fuck Boston. Yeah, Cleveland, Cleveland won. fuck Boston. Yeah, Cleveland at better of the deal. Oh no, I thought it was just the Boston deal. No, it, they got they got Jay Crowder. Somebody Dang. plays defense and offense. They got yeah, Isaiah Thomas who could score points in the fourth. They got the center and Brooklyn pick. Uh -huh. And Brooklyn probably gonna be one of the top three picks. That's excuse me, that's right. They yeah. raped up because Kyrie Boston getting exactly what they had. Yeah. A younger version. A younger, yeah. He can, he, a better no, de player. no defense and play good offense. Damn, I want to have that pick. You give them Crowder. What it did though, it opened up for you can uh, bring along Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, yeah, uh, Tatum, who they just drafted. Uh, but is he gonna awesome. be the man? He didn't want to. He want to go somewhere where he could be the man. You think he's gonna be the man over Gordon Haywood? Hell yeah! Even Gordon, though that was his Gordon, coaching. Gordon Haywood, but, but, that Gordon Haywood is a B player. He's not a. He's not a A. Gordon, play, Gordon Haywood is a great complimentary player. He's not an A one star. Kyrie about to go over here and. Isolate and make everybody else worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he's about to he do. He's about to make everybody worse. Every play. Uh, run motion. Okay, we run one four set. Yeah, Iso man. number two. Man, man, man. This nigga be doing this all the time. At first I, kept, picks. first, I kept saying, only person I would trade Kyrie for if I could get is like Russell Westbrook. Because I'm going to lose him in two years. Russell. Russell don't mix good with uh, LeBron. They, don't, they couldn't play good off each other at all. I don't just know. Somebody that's type of caliber. They're too ball dominant. They both too ball dominant. Yeah. That's the thing. And I think that's what Kyrie don't like. He don't like having to play off the ball sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, man, we're going to wrap this up, man. We'll thank everybody for tuning in. See the nobody. The nigga, the popular stranger. Popular stranger. Yeah, you're chilling, man. We'll see y'all next week. We should have a guest. I got a surprise guest, man. I'm, I'm going to tell you off here. Okay. But it's going to be a surprise guest for people who are familiar with us or whatever and stuff. It's going to be a fantastic show next week. Okay. Um, if you know anybody want to come and fuck with us, tell them to come fuck with us. Yeah. Call his number. 555 <laughs> 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 Peace.